Welcome to our video on the Canada International Student Visa Cap. If you're dreaming of studying in Canada, this video is a must-watch. Why Canada? Canada is known for its world-class education system and stunning landscapes, has become a top destination for international students. But there's one important thing you need to know. What is the visa cap? The Canada International Student Visa Cap refers to the limits set on the number of study permits issued to international students each year. Why the cap? What is this housing crisis? What are the key aspects of this crisis? The housing crisis in Canada is a significant and complex issue that has been a growing concern for several years. The housing crisis can have far-reaching social and economic consequences. It can lead to increased poverty, strained social services, and negatively impact the overall quality of life for many Canadians. It has several key aspects. Affordability. One of the most pressing problems is the lack of affordable housing. In major cities like Vancouver and Toronto, skyrocketing housing prices have made it increasingly difficult for both renters and potential homeowners to find affordable options. Rental market challenges. Rental markets in many urban areas are extremely competitive, with high demand leading to steep rent increases. This has made it challenging for individuals and families to secure stable and affordable rental accommodations. Homelessness. The lack of affordable housing has contributed to a rise in homelessness across Canada. Many cities struggle to provide shelter and support for those without a stable place to live. Foreign investment. Foreign investment in Canadian real estate has also been a contentious issue with concerns that it contributes to rising property prices, making it even more difficult for locals to enter the housing market. Housing supply. There is a shortage of housing supply in some urban areas. This is due to a combination of factors, including zoning regulations, lengthy approval processes for new developments, and a lack of affordable housing construction. Rural housing issues. While major cities often receive the most attention, housing challenges are not limited to urban centers. Rural areas can face issues related to inadequate housing, limited access to services, and affordability concerns as well. Government policies. A series of bad decisions made by federal and provincial governments have contributed to this housing crisis. And now, they are trying hard to introduce various policies and measures to contain this housing crisis, in order to cool down the housing market and they have come up an idea to put a cap on international students. There is an ongoing debate that this is only a band-aid and this will impact the economy adversely in the long run. After all, the international students contribute around $23 billion every year to Canadian economy. How does it work? Here's how it works. There was always some sort of cap, a higher cap. The government sets the cap annually, and once it's reached, no more study permits are issued that year. So, what can you do if this were to happen? Planning ahead. To overcome the cap, plan ahead. Research universities, programs, and prepare your application well in advance. Tips for success. Consult an immigration expert, follow the rules, and ensure your application is complete and error-free. Be aware of deadlines. Stay updated on application deadlines, as missing them can affect your chances. Alternatives. If you miss the cap, do not be disheartened and consider alternatives like shorter programs or language courses to gain a foothold in Canada. Final thoughts. In conclusion, the Canada International Student Visa Cap is a crucial factor to consider when planning your Canadian education journey. This cap is not in effect yet, but soon will. With careful planning and guidance, you can make your dream a reality. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more valuable information on studying in Canada.